When 50 Cent got started, he had a manager that had already made inroads into the film industry. Now, when you're thinking about hip hop and film, hip hop industry hadn't really made a lot of headway into the film industry. You had a few movies here and there, but it wasn't like a multi billion dollar thing. Well, when Eminem came out with Eight Mile for Brian Browser, that was a touch point, right? So they were like, well, 50 Cent should do hits. So that would be Get Rich and Die Trying. But that wasn't really the thing that really broke them open. What was in Get Rich and Die Trying that was exciting was they had incredible infrastructure in that movie. Paramount Pictures, Terry Winter, the writer for The Sopranos, a lot of great producers, and 50 Cent is always an astute student. So here's this handsome gentleman here, and here I am on the set of a video with 50 Cent, and here is Jesse Terrell, right? Now, he will be important because he would direct a movie for 50 Cent called Gun. This Gun movie was part of a $250 million overall deal with Grindstone Lionsgate. Now this Grindstone Lionsgate deal occurred before Power got on stars. And he had a partner named Randy Amos. Um, they were had a little tip on social media. But as you see here, he's engaged. He would also partner with a lot of box office stars like Bruce Willis, um, Val Kilmer, um, 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 several actors. And he would generate over, and his movies would generate over half a billion in the box office. Now, power. Power got greenlit in 2013. Now I'm getting down to how we did that. So Power got created in 2013. G-Unit Films was created in 2003, the year that he launched. Get Rich and Die Trying, his debut album. Now when Power got, so G-Unit TV and Films was brought back out in 2010. <clears throat> now, and that first started Cheetah Films, doing those deals, got to understand A-list actors. Some of the financing was created too. He was getting real estate investors, people in the healthcare industry, trying to understand how you finance movies, right? So now he has G-Unit TV and Films. They get Stars Network. He hires the writer, one of the writers from Good Wife. Um, and then he also partners with his old partner from Cheetah Films. And in 2014, they launched that. Stars Network was able to get 4 million new subscribers, and that was over 8 million new subscribers as a result of Power. Power is the most watched show on Stars Network. Now, that created incredible value in the Stars Network. Lionsgate in 2016 would acquire the Stars Network with power being the number one show for 4.4 billion. CBS would want to acquire stars because CBS was also a co-production partner via the CBS television on power. So they will make an offer for 5 billion and Lionsgate would decline and say, no, we think stars is worth 5.5 billion. But all of this has 50 cent at the intersection because he has a top rated show, started from scratch, right? Now let's talk about footwork. 